popular children's cereal also has an ingredient that is the main ingredient in degreasing paint, tri-sodium phosphate. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's face. It's wild to me that some of the most obvious false arguments gain the most traction on social media. I've seen this one about TSP uh, dating back, I think it was in Snopes in like 2014. So this one has been going around for almost 10 years, if not longer. Just because an ingredient can be used in a cleaner does not imply that it is unsafe in food. And that is quite literally the entire argument here, that because trisodium phosphate is used to clean things, that it is a toxic chemical in food, which should very obviously be a false argument. Can you imagine if somebody went around the grocery store trying to scare people about salad dressing because there's acetic acid, AKA vinegar in it, and vinegar can be used as an industrial cleaner? Obviously that would be ridiculous, but that's exactly what is going on here. So of course, dose matters for everything. Vinegar can be used for cleaning. It's a very concentrated solution of vinegar. Obviously, you would not want to consume this, but that doesn't mean that vinegar cannot be used safely in food. We can even zoom in on the warning on this industrial vinegar cleaner. Poison, keep out of reach of children. Oh my goodness, can you believe that vinegar is put in foods? On the back, if you ingest this, you are to call poison control immediately. Again, these are all the same arguments to scare people about things like trisodium phosphate in food because people are not familiar with an ingredient like trisodium phosphate like they are with vinegar. People would know that this is ridiculous if you were trying to scare them about vinegar because that is something they're familiar with and they know that it is safe in food. Well, the same thing can be applied to something like trisodium phosphate. So just because it would be very unsafe to take a swig of concentrated industrial trisodium phosphate cleaner, that does not mean that it can't be used in food safely. Concentration and dose matter for literally everything that we consume. All right, so what is trisodium phosphate and why is it used in foods? Well, it turns out that for the same reason that acidic and basic substances like vinegar and baking soda are good for cleaning, they are also functional in foods, and that is because of their pH. High pH basic substances and low pH acidic substances can be used to regulate pH in food products. So trisodium phosphate is a basic substance and can be used much like baking soda in bakery products. So it can be used as a leavening agent, so it reacts to create carbon dioxide bubbles, which causes leavening and increases volume of bakery products. For this reason, it can be used in things like cakes, cookies, muffins, and pancakes. It can also be used to control batter pH and is typically used in the dry mix at around 0.1% to 0.5%. It can also be used as a buffering agent to help resist changes in pH. pH is a very important characteristic and an important thing to control for in food items because it affects everything from shelf life to flavor to appearance of a food item. So this is from EFSA's working group on phosphates, but the panel reassessed the safety of phosphates and derived for the first time an acceptable daily intake of 40 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day. Well, trisodium phosphate is a source of sodium and phosphate. So when it's being added to food, it will contribute to the sodium and the phosphorus on the nutrition label. And as it explains here, phosphates are nutrients and essential to our diets, just like sodium is as well. So again, dose matters. We need both sodium and phosphorus in our diets, but obviously too much can be an issue as well. Most of these cereals are at around 6% of the daily value of phosphorus. So obviously this is nowhere near a toxic amount of phosphorus. So when they're claiming a toxic chemical is being added to cereal, that's obviously not the case because dose matters and it's nowhere near a toxic amount in cereal. And again, that it doesn't mean that it's a toxic ingredient just because it can be used as a cleaner, which both vinegar and baking soda and many other ingredients that are in foods are effective cleaners as well. I'm gonna state the obvious as well, but eating a bowl of cereal containing a small amount of trisodium phosphate is obviously not the same as taking a swig of concentrated trisodium phosphate cleaner in which the pH is going to be around 12 to 14. 